Alrighty guys, welcome back to another video today. So we are gonna be doing something tad bit different. We're going for an afternoon fishing day. Um, I don't ever fish in the afternoon. I wanted to do it today. It rained like a like an afternoon thunderstorm at like two o'clock, but that's all gone now and it is nice and calm. Should be nice and calm out on the river. I got the Ginu pulling behind me. We're about to go grab some gas. I actually got my brother Evan on the camera today. He's gonna be learning how to do some film work for me. So hopefully this video will be absolutely sick. Um, but we're gonna just go after some snook, some tarpon, some redfish, some trout. Um, and that's about it. We are going to get into it right now. Let's go, guys. Alrighty, guys. So... We are now on the water. I only brought one rod. I brought my uh, JM edition seven foot medium rod, Calusa rod. Um, and we're gonna throw around this lure right here. That bait right there is called a Z-Man Razor Shad. So this is bright green. I grabbed it at Carl's Bait and Tackle. Um, and I was really loving the action in the last video. I think it's going to be one of my favorite lures. Um, it's got this really cool fish tail. If you guys didn't know, Z-Mans are super stretchy. These are really hard for fish to break, so we should be able to get fish after fish on them today. And I got it rigged with just a weedless worm hook, or weighted worm hook, actually. And we're gonna go for snook, redfish, tarpon, trout. You really never know out here. It could be actually anything. Um, that's the good thing about where I live is you can catch any fish really anytime. So let's hop right into it, guys. All right, so it looks like we got a little rocky shoreline right in front of us. Should be a good thing to hit with a lure. I found snook on these uh, these shorelines before, so we should be around here somewhere. We know what you hit to go back. These are our babies. Yeah? Yeah. I wouldn't keep a fish anyway. Come on. No, but that looks like a perfect spot for a fish to be. I'm gonna go like five more docks and make a move. Go like five more docks and make a move. So I just retied and went with a Yozuri 3DB. I had to, uh, I was not having any luck with the uh, Yozuri, or I wasn't having any luck with the Z-Man Razor Shads, but it's getting to be a little bit of a low light situation. It's getting to be, you know, the sun's going down. So we're gonna go ahead and throw this guy. This is a Yozuri 3DB in uh, like a bone color. It's a great top water, probably about a, I think it's a four and a half inch top water. I could be wrong, but I wanna say four and a half. And uh, hopefully we'll get a big blow up here. Manatee. Oh, huge fish. Got him, big snook. Big snook, big snook. He's gonna take off. Yeah, there he goes. That's a stud. Looking more big ones back there. That's a big snook. 34 at least. At least 34. At least. All right, so knew the light going down and getting a little bit darker it would be time for just one big fish this is a stud should i get out i always feel like i should get out <laughs> uh gotcha this might be my biggest fish i've ever caught on top water Now getting out just makes it just a tad bit easier to land them and with treble hooks I want to be as careful as possible. Let's see where he's hooked. Ooh. 
Got him. Check that fish out, guys. That's a beautiful snook. I'll throw him on the ruler here in a second, but I'm going to say 33 on that uh, bone white Yozuri 3DB. That was sick. I'm going to see where he's hooked. Should be good right there. He's got to hold him as tight as possible in case he does shake. I don't get a treble hook right in my thumb, so. Whew. That's a big girl. So let me grab those pliers real quick here. Where'd they go? We're gonna pop this out of his or her mouth right here. Yep, easy as that. Let me drop it on the ruler real quick. I said 33, let's see. So you can see right here, tail starts at zero. Fish goes all the way back to, that's the 30 line, and that's the 31 right there, so slot fish. But I think that's my biggest fish I've ever caught on top water. We're just gonna lay her back in the water here, send her on her way. Really pretty snook. There she goes. Let's go, that was sick. Um, I'm gonna keep throwing here. I may not get another fish, but I'm happy with that one. That's a 31 inch snook on a top water. That's the biggest snook I've ever caught on top water, actually. And uh, let's keep it going, guys. Let's just throw a little bit longer and see if we can get another one. Actually, you know what? Let's check out this leader real quick, see if it freighted up at all. This is actually only 30 pound mono. This is the typical size leader I use when I'm throwing my seven foot medium rod. But as you can see here, it actually is a little bit frayed. There's actually a nice bend in the bend in the mono right there. If you guys can see that, that's from the inside of the snook's mouth. So that's pretty sick. All right, let's go. Let's keep fishing. Oh, I see a big snook. Big snook right here. Yep, on. No, I lost him. Where'd he go, where'd he go, where'd he go? He's, he's up there. Eat it again, eat it again, I dare you. He had to have felt the hooks. Ay, ay, ay. a little bit darker um we're still going to keep throwing this little yozuri and I, someone in my last video actually asked me how do you find fish and this is like a very broad question because it depends on like a thousand different things um and, but i'll give you an example for how we're finding snook today so what i see on the shoreline we got rocks we got little mangrove patches and then we have these big long docks now well, these big long docks that towards the end of the dock it's like six to eight feet deep right most snook are not going to be in there um, they're mostly going to be in that shallow section kind of like where i'm throwing right now and I'm basically just sitting right at the level of where it's, you know, five to six feet deep and throwing straight into that, you know, one foot deep area and working the top water out of there. So again, that question of how do you find fish is just super broad, but my tip for snook fishing is just throw top waters at the end of the day, shallow, which is like what we're doing right now. And I'm sure you'll find some fish. Just think about that next time you go fishing. And uh, we're just gonna continue here and try to find another big fish. No, <laughs> but he did almost make it into the dock. <sighs> Jesus, the snook is full of energy. No, oh, pulled it right there. Ah, <sighs> snook was entirely hooked on the outside of his mouth. That's not much of a surprise that he came off. Oh well, at least I got the best part of it, the freaking the blow up in the beginning of the fight, didn't have to deal with the treble hooks. It was only an 18 inch snook anyway, no big deal. Whew. Alrighty guys, so we are back in the room right now, just got done editing this video, and uh, I really enjoyed that. That was just a quick afternoon session, about three hours or so, and we really got it done. That was about the best I could ask for was 
uh, 31 inch snook on a uh, on a top water. That was an awesome fight, awesome fish. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Shout out to my brother Evan for coming out and filming. Hopefully he'll be doing that a little bit more and we'll get some awesome footage. But if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And I think other than that, uh, oh, if you guys want to check out the Yozuri lure as well, there will be a link in the description, as well as the rod I used in this video. There will be a link in the description for that. But other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. Coming in, yeah, flex. I just want to win, yeah. LABB, who we running with? Yeah, two, two, three, three, I'm on 10.